Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we are back here with another exciting review, and today we have a review here. This is the iPhone 14 Unicorn Beetle Pro Sup case guys i'm really happy to be making this review for you here's the box it's, it's it came in by the way if you want to see it i know my camera has trouble with black sometimes but there you go that's the way the box looks and i'm really happy to be making this video for you inside the box you get a couple of nice little little gifts here that give you this thing too so if you're somebody who likes to put your phone in your phone case and have it on clipped onto your belt or your pants for example you can always use this case here it goes on top of the full case here so it's an additional case and honestly i find it to be a little big but it does come it does come like this and then you just kind of clip it on like that so it does come in that free case which is really nice guys i'm really excited to be making this review it only costs about twenty dollars or twenty five dollars on amazon and what you're getting here is basically auto box but cheaper but better I, i'm not joking it truly is Everything Autobox is, guys, but better, but cheaper, but everything, man. I'm really hyped to be making this review for you. I know I've said that 10 times, but let's get right into the video here. So the product has been on my phone, guys. I like to do real, real life testing. I don't like to pretend I'm testing. I've legitimately used this product over the past few weeks. So I've been using this product for a bit now. And if this makes you feel any better, here is the old Unicorn Beetle case with the iPhone XR that I've had for four years before that. Here you go. That is this right here. And then I have a Galaxy S7 that had the Unicorn Beetle case. That was in blue before that. Unfortunately, that case is no longer available. I threw it out because, you know, the iPhone, the iPhone, sorry, the Galaxy S7 has been on the market for a very long time and the case is falling apart. You know, the case was almost 10 years old at that point. You know, so what do you expect? This is my Galaxy S7 in good condition, no cracks or anything like that. It's just a testament to the product. And in this case here with the i sorry, with the Galaxy S7, a car ran this phone over, guys. Yes, a car ran over this phone with a this was a Galaxy S7 with a Unicorn Beetle case, the same model as this one here, and it worked. So I have not broken the phone since I've been using this case. That's the first positive thing I have to say, among other things. Besides that, guys, the price tag, 20 to 25 bucks is very good. It's a full case, guys. It's not the back, just the back cover. It comes with the front cover with the screen protector and that other shield thing, you know? Um, I don't like taking the case off. You want to keep it in mint condition. But just for you guys, uh, I'll pull the case off for you. So there's, not, there's no easy way to do it. You just got to use brute force pretty much. Kind of like this. And you, you kind of look for an edge. You kind of look for an edge like that. And you just kind of keep pulling like that. So here you go, guys. This is what the back of the case looks like. This is the first shell. So if you're buying a cheap case, and usually in the 20 to $25 price range, you'll probably just get the back case here, right? In your case, and that's it. But what makes this product special is for that same price, you also get a front-facing case, guys. So let's pull the front-facing case out. Very similar process. Not There's not as much resistance. So we're going to just kind of lightly pull on that. You know, with the new iPhones, guys, they have all these different lenses and stuff. And sometimes I feel concerned or nervous about pulling off the case on my phone. So I really don't like doing it. But for the review, I'll do it for you. But just say now, I don't, I don't, I, I get nervous. So here's a quick look of the iPhone 14. Look, as you can see, gem mint condition, guys. They're just just a testament to this case. And this phone has glass on the back, glass on the front. You can tell it's a 14 by the two lenses here on the base model and the rounded edges too, you know, stuff like that. You can tell this is an iPhone 14. I mean, there's many ways to tell. And I'll get into my, I'll get into my review of the iPhone 14 in another, another time. But here is the shell. Here's what the shell looks like when it's off the case. So the installation process here is also quite simple. You take the shell like this and you just pop it on like that. Put some pressure on it from the back too, if, if you don't mind. And just like that, the back shell is back on, guys. The touch screen itself, I don't feel any noticeable difference. It, it, it really does feel like you're using the actual screen, even though there's a, technically a case. It doesn't seem that way, guys. I'm, I really, really like the screen protector on here. Um, here is how the screen looks. I mean, not that my camera is doing it justice, but there's no, there's no significant quality de degradation or touch degradation, which is nice. So here's the back piece, guys. We're gonna put the back piece back on. And you kind of just kind of pop it in like this, and then you kind of put some pressure on it and line it in um, like that. And that's kind of how you do it. Make sure there's no cracks on the side. See that little crack? That just means you're allowing air and water to come in, and you don't want that. So you want to get all that cracks out. And it should look something like this, where there's no cracks left. It's a very firm 
seal. And yeah, guys, I really like this case. I mean, I dropped my phone. I mean, I'll do it for you right now. Not that I want to, but I know you guys want to see it. I just dropped my phone. I'm not doing it again. Don't ask me to do it again because it makes me nervous just doing it, even though I know it's fine. And as you guys can see here, it's fine. I'm not doing it again. But yeah, let me... <laughs> But it does work. Trust me, a car ran over my Galaxy and it still works. Perfect condition, etc. So another cool feature is there is a hidden kickstand right here. And this is not an ordinary kickstand, guys. This is a two-faced kickstand. So you do, one thing I will say, one negative I will say is you have to put a lot of pressure on this thing. It does not come out easily, which you could think of it as a positive or a negative. It's never gonna come out by itself. You're gonna always press it when you want to use it, but it can be annoying. It requires too much pressure. And I, and I guess that is a design compromise you have to make when you're only spending 20 to 25 bucks and it really does it all. Things even out of the boxes can't do. Out of the box don't have the kickstand. Yes, they have the two shelf design, but it's 50 bucks, you don't get a kickstand. And it's not just someone in a kickstand, right? It's a, uh, I'm putting it on my hand, right? But here it is, a vertical kickstand. Here's a side view of it. Remember, this is gonna be on a flat desk. It work a lot better on there. But just to kind of get a good peek of what it looks like here. And then obviously you could do you could do it on the side as well. Remember, it, it, it's in my hand because you can't see my desk. I got to put it over here for you if you can see that. Um, like that. That's the vertical kickstand. Then that is that's horizontal. So it works perfectly, guys. I'm a big fan of that kickstand. Kick so really, guys, what, why, why not buy this over AutoBox? And the truth is, at this point in time, I, I can't think of a reason. Really, this is the best case in the market. No joke, guys. I am not lying to you. I pay, I pay for this my own money, by the way. I've tested out of the boxes. This is the best case in the market, hands down. Anytime anybody ever asks for me for a case, um, I tell them to buy the, uh, to buy the, the uh, Unicorn Beetle subcase. I just do. There's nothing else like it. It truly is the best in the market. Screw out of boxes, guys. It's not worth the money. I don't like this thing. I think this is kind of old-fashioned. I think it makes the case, which is not too bulky. For a two-layer case, it's not too bulky, but when you add this, then then the size becomes really a big problem to me. This is way too bulky with the clip and everything. Screw this, I don't think you need it. Just, you know, unless, unless you have a practical need for it. But overall, just go with this, guys. I think you'll be okay with just the base, you know, case. You don't need the, this is free, by the way. I did say that before, but this is free. You're not paying for it. You just don't have to use it, in my opinion. So overall, guys, if you do wanna buy this wonderful product, I really recommend it. The Amazon link will be down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, favorite, put on the notification bell, turn off off the app lock, all that stuff really helps me. If you want to be a paid member of the channel, you'll get this content first, so that I would really appreciate that. And you get the videos uncut too before I make any cuts. So you're really getting a, an exclusive look at my operations here and how my editing process goes, you know? So I would appreciate that. You can also make a comment and give me a super thanks too. All that stuff really helps me out. Uh, yeah, whatever you want to do, supports me. Um, but overall, I recommend it. Have a good day. Thank you and bye.